Hi, my name is Sarah Chister, CEO and founder of fitnessceos.com. And if you're here, you're wanting to know how to sell a high ticket fitness offer, even if you've never done it before. Just a little context about me, not that you're gonna care, but it'll set the stage for what I'm about to show you. When I started off in the fitness industry, I was working in person for 50 to $100 a session. You know, it's taking a ton of my time. I had to give the gym some of my fees. And then on the side, I was selling a $47 product called the Rapid Muscle System. Now, I wish I had a cool story for you, but two years later, I was in the same spot and I was more broke. <laughs> and so the reason for that is I believe I didn't understand the power of high ticket. I didn't know what high ticket meant. I didn't know how to do it. Luckily, I had some people who pushed me in that direction and it completely changed my life where I built a $40 million plus business now. I really wanna start and, and just bear with me, stick through this video. I know it's gonna be long, but I'm going to go through very specific things that you need to make your fitness business successful. So the first thing is having a great offer. Everyone completely misses the mark on this, on how to get people to pay you a premium price for your fitness offer. It really comes down to two things. I'm gonna show you a strategy. One of my good friends, Alex Hermosi, showed me, and it's so, so true, and I use it to this day. So think of your offer in four quadrants like this, okay? Here is the outcome, okay? Here is risk, here is time, and then here is effort. Now. First thing you have to understand is very simple. Think about the best case scenario for someone who wants to get in shape, build muscle, lose fat, etc. They wanna get a six pack while eating a bunch of shit food. That's the simplest way for me to put it. So they want the best results without doing any work. Now, obviously they have to do some work. But as a trainer, if you go to someone or really in any industry and you tell them how hard it's gonna be, how much work it's gonna take, how much time it's gonna take, they're not gonna really want to do that, <laughs> right? And so what you have to do first is you have to sell them on the dream. So the first thing is, you know, do you wanna lose 20 pounds, build muscle, et cetera? That one's the easiest. Like almost everyone who wants help with a trainer or to get in shape, like they can agree on that. The second thing is risk. So if you're trying to sell a fitness offer, are people more likely to work with someone who has a money back guarantee or someone who doesn't have one, right? Like who would you choose if it was the same price? Obviously, it's the more you can lower their risk. So I'm not saying you have to use a money back guarantee. I'm just trying to demonstrate this point. The goal is how to get the risk as close to zero as possible. The outcome is how to get them to their goal as easy as is possible, right? Or to make sure it's as sure as possible. So as close to 100%. So that should be very self-explanatory. The next thing is time, okay? If you have a way to position your offer or explain it to them that they will get it in less time, it infinitely makes your offer more valuable. If I get a taxi and it will be here in an hour versus an Uber that will be here in five minutes, I will typically pay quadruple or triple for the Uber, I really would. Now, most of the time it doesn't cost that much more, but I would 100% do it, no questions asked, because they're getting me a result faster. The final thing is effort. Now, people have to put in some effort but again, the goal is to make it as easy as possible. So can you give them done for you meal plans? Can you send them the groceries? Can you send them done for you meals? Can you shop for them? Um, can you set their workouts up in the app, et cetera, et cetera. The goal here is to get them as close to 100% as possible with their outcome, as little risk as possible, in a short amount of time as possible, with as little as effort as possible. Hardly any trainers think of those terms in their business, right? They just think, hey, I'm a trainer, I'm good at what I do, I'll get people results. If, they're, if they can't do it, then screw them. That's just not gonna work. You have to be able to explain to people what makes you different. Now, an easier way to do this and explain this is ultimately, like I said earlier, is people want to eat whatever they want without sabotaging results. And so one of the easiest ways I've been able to show this is doing it if it fits your macros. Most people, ironically, they don't understand calories. They don't understand it if it fits your macros. Now, if you're watching this as a trainer, I'm not saying you have to do that. But what I will say is if you like making money, you have to give people what they want before you can give them what they need. You have to give people what they want before you give them what they need. And so ultimately people want to eat bad food, okay? And they don't wanna work out. Now, the goal, if you're on the same wavelength as me, is people can get to their goal by just having a cleaner diet, right? So teaching them how to have bad food but still get results. Most people really don't have to work out to get results. And so what I would sell people on, one of the ways I was able to build a multi-million dollar fitness business, I said, look, I'll teach you how to eat bad food and still get results, right? Because as long as they stay within the caloric restriction. And then if you don't wanna work out, you don't have to, I recommend at least these many days a week 
but you don't have to. And when I told people that, it was like music to their ears. They're like, wait, like I, I don't have to like do two hours of cardio. I don't have to eat chicken and broccoli every day. And so if you could sell people on that type of fitness offer, you're gonna absolutely crush. We help our clients make this fit for whatever they're into, right? So if you're into keto or you're into, you know, Atkins is the same thing as keto. If you're a vegan, et cetera, we have all kinds of different coaches but ultimately, if you can make your plan fit as close to this as possible or incorporate it with what you believe in, you're gonna see amazing results. Even our vegan coaches see amazing results with that and they don't believe in you know, eating meat and those things, so you can find your niche, but this is the key to almost everyone who wants to get in shape. Okay, so that's number one. Number two is packaging it properly. I can't tell you how many people do this wrong. So the number one thing here is making sure, one, you don't sell it for a small price, you sell it for a premium price, so on average, what we'll do is we'll do $3,200 for four months, okay? Four months of coaching, okay? How that looks is they get an app that we set up for our clients, okay? It has their workouts and their nutrition, okay, and their meals. You get a one-to-one -one coach. Typically, all that is is text, text and email, okay? You can throw in calls if you want, but really text is fine for most people and it's super, super convenient. Um, then you just customize, right? So you do need to actually care about your clients, right? You need to customize things. So customize workouts and food, okay? But this all goes back in the app. So just remember, these things work together and we actually help you set that stuff up. That's all you have to do. That's it. I know that may sound crazy, but you're probably already doing a lot of these things minus the one-to-one, -one, okay? And this could be as much or as little as you need. The reality is that this was my average price point when I did a million dollars. I sold some people at 5,000, 4,000, 2,500, but on average it was $3,200 for four months. It's about 800 bucks a month. And uh, I did very well on this and a lot of people loved it. And not only that, I had a ton of resigns. So keep in mind, you don't need someone to be filthy rich to be able to do this. Most of the, most of the clients I have were making about 50 to $80,000 a year, okay? So it's not like they were filthy rich, it's just I positioned it in a way that made them understand that high ticket was more of what they wanted, that it was gonna solve their problem. That's all you're doing. You're just getting people to understand that they're paying more money, but this is gonna give them the result they want, and without doing that, they're not gonna get it, okay? People don't pay more money if they think they can get the same thing for cheaper elsewhere. That's why you've been struggling so far, because they think Bob down the street sells the same thing you do for $50, while you're trying to sell for 3,000, that's not gonna work. But if they think that you truly are selling something different, you package it in the proper way, you can sell it at a much higher price. So that's number two. Now, once you have these two things in place, it's time to sell. So you're going, okay, Tanner, like that makes sense. I can package it like that, what's the next step? So the next thing is to do what we call priming your profile. So here's how it works. What you'll do is go on Facebook or IG, you can do LinkedIn, et cetera, but typically these are the most common places, okay? And what you're gonna do is, if it's Facebook, you're gonna fix your headline, okay, your cover photo, your profile picture, and your content, okay? So that's Facebook, then we'll do IG under here, okay? So we'll just do that. Cut that away, boom, okay? Under here, you got IG. So what IG you're gonna do is your headline, profile photo, Content. Now, we're not doing this to gain followers, guys. I just wanna be very clear. All you have to do is make it easy for people to understand what you want. So for example, if I had a headline, my headline that made me literally over a million dollars plus, I mean multi-millions, but in the first year, was how to eat, so you can slow the video down if you need to, pause it right on your pet. how to eat whatever you want without sabotaging results, okay? So I'll say it again, how to eat whatever you want without sabotaging results. So. A lot of people that, oh wait, like you can't eat whatever you want. That's not what I said. I said without sabotaging results, but it's enough to draw them into your marketing and get them on a call where you then explain your process. How's that possible, right? For me, it was if it fits your macros, for you, it could be something else. But I find that that is one of the best ways to get people on board and inside your program, okay? So that's the headline. Now, the next stage, your cover photo. Usually a picture of your clients, Usually, um, maybe you on stage showing authority. It needs to be something that's gonna draw attention that shows people you know what you're talking about. Profile photo, if you go look at mine, just a nice clean cut picture. Shave, make yourself look nice, presentable, nice collar shirt. Doesn't have to be like that, but that's usually what I find. The only thing I would tell you about my profile picture right now that I would improve is smile. 
okay? Like when I sit here and I look grumpy, it's not as good as if I smile. So if you're able to smile, definitely do that. And then finally the content. So a lot of people get caught up on content. You only really need nine pieces of content on IG and maybe a few on Facebook. It's just to show that you know what you're talking about. Posting pictures of your, you know, your dog and your cats and Ninja Turtles, that's all well and dandy. But when you're trying to build a business, I highly recommend only posting content related to the business, at least in the beginning, because then people come to your Facebook and instead of thinking it's just for fun, they're like, this guy's a business owner. This is what he does. This is how he looks. He looks great. This is his content. Wow. And then it, you're able to reach out to people with authority. So many people don't understand this and it's what makes it very difficult for them because no one takes them seriously. If you want people to take you seriously, you have to take your cover photo and your social media profile seriously. So that is step number three. Now, once you do that, it's time to start getting free leads. Now with this, I just want to bring context. I understand that this is not the most optimal way, but you have to realize when I started my business, I was where you were at. I didn't have a lot of money. I was broke. I had very little experience and I didn't have a budget. Plus I couldn't get investors. So when you're broke, and all you have is time, you have to go out and find people. So on IG, what I would do, and guys, remember, this is super specific. So just promise me, I was doing $50,000 a month just doing this. On IG, I would search for hashtags that had the word fit in it. Okay, so for example, fit mom, fit dad, fit spo, fitness, like, I mean, whatever you think of with the word FIT, okay? Um, I, excuse me, I want to reach out to those profiles. I go to the hashtag and then I would scroll as fast as I could. So I'm not talking like this. I'm talking like, I mean, move that thing, right? And when I would do that, what I would look for is someone who was overweight. As soon as I'd see someone who was overweight, I'd stop, click their profile and look at it. Now, if they had the word like beach body coach or fitness coach, et cetera, I wouldn't reach out to them even if I felt they needed help because they didn't think they needed help. The number one key to building a successful business is don't sell to people who don't want your service, sell to people who do want your service. I know that's a crazy concept, but it's actually really simple. So that's what you need to do. That's how I did IG. There's a million other hashtags, but I would literally go out and I would send messages and start off the messages by simply saying something like, hey, your kid's super cute. Hope that's not weird to say, you know, I'm from a family of seven or, you know, hey, I love your Corvette. I'm a huge car guy. And I would start that conversation, which would then turn into the sales process, okay? And we could go over more of that in another video, but I sold $50,000 a month just by doing this, scrolling, finding someone who looked like they needed help, right? So overweight, you know, maybe they were like, hey, on my journey to lose 100 pounds. And I'd reach out and, you know, just offer advice, offer help. And before you knew it, they were on a sales call with me and I was closing $3,200 packages, okay? Simple as that. Facebook, same thing, except you're gonna look for groups. So what you're gonna do in here is you're gonna go to fitness groups. Guys, again, anything with the word fitness, pretty safe bet, okay? You just go to groups that say fitness. And inside those groups, you can go in the members list or you can see the post and you could comment and help them, right? And then at the end of the comment, you say, hey, if you need more advice like that, just let me know. Um, you can shoot me a DM, no pressure, but just wanna make sure you're helped, okay? And you can actually start reaching out to people that way or just seeing people's profiles. Hey, I saw you're in the same group. Just want to reach out and say, love your car, love your dog, love what you're doing. You know, want to introduce myself. There's a whole process for what to say and how to message. I'm not going to cover it in this video. It's just too extensive. I actually have more trainings that if you reach out to me, happy to get those for you. But that's how you're going to do it to start. And guys, I was doing literally $50,000 a month, just like that, okay? right? It's not that complicated. I promise. It's really not that complicated. Even if you're bad at messaging or talking to people, if I could do 50 K, all you have to do is make one sale and you're doing better than most people, right? Like one sale. It's not that complicated. Okay. Now, before I move on to, I guess what I'll do is this is before I move on to number five, it's kind of walk you through my process. Okay. So I'll, I'll walk you, I'll walk, because I'm nice, I'll add in this extra step. I'll walk you guys through this process. So when I reached out to them, you're like, well, what did you say? Okay. And I'll just walk you through. I'm not going to draw this on the board. So what I would say is like my videographer's name's Alex. So I say, Hey Alex, you know, love your Corvette, dude. I'm a huge car fan. Hope that's not too weird, but just want to give you a compliment. It's like, yeah, man, thanks so much. I'm like, yeah, for sure. Like, tell me, what do you do for work? I'm curious. Oh, I do X, Y, and Z. And this is literally how most of my convos will go. Obviously there's variations, but about 80, 90% of the convos will go just like this. So yeah, man, like, does that keep you busy? He's like so busy. And then here I would transition into my pitch without, you know, while it sounded conversational, I'd say, dude, totally get that. Like, does it make it hard to work out? Like, 
when I'm busy at work, it's sometimes I can't even get a breath in. And he's like, yeah, it kind of does. I'm like, do you have any fitness goals you're working on or not really? Yeah, like I'm, again guys, just keep this conversational. The way you type should be the way you talk. Okay, the way you talk should be the way you type. It should sound the same. They say, yeah, like I have this goal. I go, cool, so what's your goal? And I'd be like, what are you struggling with? X, Y, and Z. Got it, what have you tried before? A, B, C. Cool, have you ever worked with a coach before? No, I haven't. Okay, well, look, I don't, I don't wanna be overbearing, but I do this fitness stuff all day long. I've done it for you know 10 years. I've been professional modeling. Or whatever your background is, that's what I did. I said, I don't know if you'd like advice, um, but I just, I, I'm happy to help, but I just like to ask before I start you know, throwing information down your throat. And they're like, yeah, like that would be great. And I'm like, cool. Um, you know, instead of typing this, instead of typing out another 500 messages like we're doing now, um, would you have 10 minutes uh, where we could just hop on a quick call? Does that sound good? And they're usually, you know, more times than I, like, yeah, it sounds good. I'm like, great, here's my number, what's yours? And I get them on that call, and then I'd set them for a sales call, okay? So you can literally, if you don't get anything out of this video, you could take that, I promise you can start making money with it. That's how I was doing $50,000 a month, okay? So that was step 4A, very welcome for that. And then number five is turning on the faucet system. So once you have that, right, let's say you start making those sales and you're doing $50,000 a month, all it's about at this point is repeating it. And people don't understand that when you're good at what you do and you have a system, it's just pushing as many people through that system as fast as possible. So once I had this system down, all I did is I turned on Facebook ads, okay? I would spend anywhere between, you know, I'd probably say 10 or 20K a month. And that would get me up to around 120K a month. Okay, now what you make with ads can vary, but ultimately guys, the way you become wealthy is when you learn to pay a dollar and you get four or more back or three or more back, anything more than one really, you can become infinitely wealthy. So if you're a trainer and you don't know how to sell a high ticket fitness offer yet, this is exactly how you do it. Now, if you want more help with that, what you can do is you can actually click down below or fill that form out below, where you can get on a call with my team and we'll walk you through the strategies and processes that some of our top clients that are doing 150, $200,000 a month as online trainers and what they're doing. Now, the good news is, is two things. One, we don't high pressure sell you. So if this isn't something you wanna do, it's okay. Like you watch this video, hopefully it helped. Hopefully you see some of my other content and you can get you know, a better life from it. But the second thing is that if you do decide to invest with us, it only takes one or two deals to pay us back. And we do that on purpose because it's a four month program and so what we're hoping is that all you have to do in the four months, okay, which is kind of an eternity if you think about it, it's 120 days, is that all you have to do is get one to two deals to pay off the investment, okay? And if you can do that, right, if that sounds fair to you, which I hope it does, then you're someone we wanna work with. All we ask is that you take the knowledge that we give you, you give us your first one or two deals as return on the payment to us for showing you what to do, spending the time with you, the coaching, the one-to-one, -one, all the stuff that we include, right? Which is a lot, we include a lot of stuff. And then we just ask for that in return. And I promise you, not only are we an eight-figure company that has the experience, but we give you the attention of a small company, right? Where you have one-to-one -one coach, you have two other ancillary coaches where you have private expert calls, copy, messaging, sales calls, fulfillment. We help you set up your app, your tech, super, super straightforward, funnels, apps, PDFs, all that good stuff. So hopefully this video was informative for you guys. It's as simple as this, but if you want help, we'd love to work with you. All you have to do is fill that form out down below. So hope this uh, video was helpful, guys. I enjoyed making it for you. The form's down below, and hopefully I'll see you inside the group real soon.